Hey guys, what's going on? Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind up. In fact, the final one for the month of August. Goodbye, August. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll jump right into it with stories that surfaced over last weekend. Undoubtedly, you've heard Slash and Axel, former bandmates in that small little uh, unit called Guns N' Roses, are supposedly friends again. Uh, naturally, that started up all sorts of uh, rumors about a possible reunion or an appetite for destruction, 30 year reunion, and all that. As of right now, let's not, you know, let's not, let's have a little forward play, okay? to see what happens. Uh, who's a, a guy that would not rejoin his old bandmates? Dave Mustaine and Metallica. I guess he was asked on Twitter or something like that if he'd ever consider rejoining Metallica. He said he'd be honored, but he would politely decline. And congratulations to one of the best-known independent heavy rock labels on the planet, Century Media. This week, they were acquired by Sony Music Entertainment for $17 million, a handful of bands that uh, we know of on the label include In This Moment, Suicide Silence, and Shadows Fall. So uh, as this all continues to unfold, I'm sure it's going to be an exciting time for those that are part of Century Media. And another one of those bummer kind of stories. Uh, I, I get all sorts of uh, worried every time I hear this. But I guess last night uh, in Salt Lake City, Motorhead having to cancel the rest of their show after only playing four tracks. Lemmy having uh, health issues and back problems. Bum deal, but in other news, and I'll get to this in a minute, Motorhead rolls out a brand new album today. And to close out your uh, uh, weekly rock windup, of course, it's uh, a new music, and it is New Music Friday. I was talking about Motorhead. They roll out Bad Magic, and they've got a cover of Rolling Stone's Sympathy for the Devil, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, they put that out today. Uh, other stuff that came out today, especially Mad Season, although Lane Staley has been gone, as well as bassist Jack Baker Saunders. Uh, the remaining two members, Barrett Martin on drums and Mike McCready on guitars, are keeping the music going. Back in January, they recorded with uh, notable uh, vocalists like a guy named Chris Cornell. You might be familiar with him. Jeff Angel was part of Walking Papers on top of that. Also rounding it out included the guys that played in uh, Temple of the Dog with Cornell, Matt Cameron, Stone Gossard, and Jeff Lament. So if you're a fan of Mad Season, be on the lookout for the uh, new uh, CD vinyl where they teamed up with the Seattle Symphony called uh, Sonic Evolution. Uh, Audio Topsy, which was born from uh, the release of Greg Trebbit from Hell Yeah, put out Natural Causes, their debut album. Uh, they got a lead single called The Calling, to be honest with you, it's kind of flat. Uh, Soil Work is back with the ride Majestic. I'm a big fan of those guys, and so far, from what I've heard, 13 tracks at 59, minute, 59 minutes, uh, pretty solid. Uh, what else? Miles Kennedy this week announcing he put the uh, final touches on his long-awaited solo album that should be rolled out sometime this year. I was talking about Cornell earlier. Uh, he's put out, as I've told you before, he's got Higher Truth coming out in September, but also that Soundgarden is working on some new stuff and some other things that he's not going to talk about right now. Ozzy Osbourne's guitarist Gus G believes Sabbath are closing, closer to putting the work on their final album in the history of ever. And finally... Uh, Filter, who's up on the uh, Wind Up Records label, uh, those guys, well, I guess Richard Patrick, who's just basically Filter himself, uh, said that he's pretty much uh, finished up a new album. He's super stoked about it, got a lot of great players, and it should be out sometime in the spring of 2016. I'm Nibbins. Thanks very much for tuning in to your Weekly Rock Wind Up. Have a great weekend doing whatever it is that you do. Peace. Can I get a towel and some boss water, please? It's grueling. It's grueling.